Welcome to Hardware Asylum, where once again working on my Panasonic KXP1080i dot matrix printer. If you're unfamiliar, this is a printer that I've had in my collection for a very long time. It has been collecting dust for 20 some odd years. In the last video, I was able to get it out of storage, clean it up a bit, took the top off, and I did a RetroBrite. I'll try to put a side-by-side -side in this video, but as you can see, the printer is not as yellow as it used to be. It's kind of got that creamy color back. Unfortunately, I was not able to drop this into my normal retro writing bath. So I had to use some OxyClean and some UV light. And after about 10 to 12 hours, this is what happened. Overall, it doesn't look too bad. It's still a little yellow, but um, it's not going to be a museum piece either. So I thought for the remainder of this video, interesting as it is to me, maybe not so much to some of my viewers, but I figured I would go through the process of getting it hooked up to Windows 3.1 and doing a little bit of printing. Now as with everything Windows related, you need to have the driver installed. While with modern systems, drivers seem to be a thing of the past, the truth is Windows just comes with all of the relevant drivers and has even more online. So if you if you happen to install a product that it doesn't have on its local hard drive, it will just download it from the web. That was not really the case back in Windows 3.1, DOS, Windows 95, 98 era, where you needed to get the driver from the manufacturer. Unfortunately for a retro machine like this and my Panasonic printer, those drivers are increasingly more difficult to find. However, after some creative Googling, I did find the universal Panasonic driver that allowed me to install the Panasonic KXP 1080i. And to set this up, basically you just go into Options, Printer Setup, and then we're going to basically add a printer. Now once you have your printer installed, it is accessible from any application within Windows. For instance, we can go to Notepad. I have PC Hack 3.x which is hints for beginner hackers. This is a help document or a companion document for PC Hack 3.x or 3.5, which is the one that I played recently on the channel. From here, connect print. And it'll start printing. Now when setting up your dot matrix printer, you have two options. You can do the tractor feed or the friction feed. If you have tractor feed, you need to have the tractor feed paper, which is the one with the holes along both sides. Those go into these tractor feeds on the printer itself. The paper is basically being pulled through the printer via these holes. And when they're lining up your paper, you just want to make sure that the perforation <laughs> is around the cut bar. At that point, set up your margins, be able to print just fine. Well, I hope you enjoyed this look at my Panasonic KXP 1080i dot matrix printer. I know this isn't for everybody, and obviously laser printers are a heck of a lot better than what you could get back in the 80s with little dots on a piece of paper. If you have questions about my printer or how to hook it up to DOS or Windows, please put them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.